Where is the battle pass, guys? Also, there has been a massive, massive leak. 10 heroes. This is insane. All right, guys, let's get stuck into this. So this is the battle pass stuff that we've, well, we, we got today uh, that we actually thought meant the battle pass was going to drop today, but it looks like it probably isn't unless it drops really late at night. So we got that image that you guys just seen. It, it's, it's, it's of Octane, but it was actually from the Origin website. But then we get this. This was inside the actual launcher for a number of hours. Then it was actually removed. Now, this gives us a bit of information on what the battle pass is actually going to be called i guess so it says welcome to the wild frontier survive the arena meet the apex games latest legend octane wield new weapons and score unique loot the season one battle pass is here purchase it at the in-game store for 950 apex coins so we've got a price there which we didn't have before for the battle pass we've got confirmation that that hero is in fact octane because well he's, he's on the artwork and uh, that he's going to come out Great, but we've still got no information on the Battle Pass itself, and we still don't know where the Battle Pass is, and they're being very quiet. So, Respawn, please say something. Oh, Lord. Okay, let's get stuck into this. So, this is from uh, Shrugtel, or Shrugitel. Massive Apex leaker. Uh, he's only gone and found a ton of information in the game files, and this is utterly crazy. So, check this out. First of all, he found a couple of portraits, and you can see... The guy in the middle looks very similar to the guy on the banner for the Pathfinder uh, like concept art that was used to announce the hero. That's cool, isn't it? But check this out as well. Uh, these are ability icons. Now, he presumes, uh, uh, Shogatel, uh, and obviously I agree with him here, that these are probably Watson's ability icons. Because Watson, what? Electricity, Vault, what? Yes. Uh, so it would make sense that all of the items, all the abilities would have some sort of electrical nature to them. We think that one of these could possibly be the Tesla trap, because again, that information was data mined. But when this hero is going to launch, we don't know. Then we get this uh, from Shogatel. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm totally butchering your name. I apologize, but you can see the watermark, guys. Uh, there is a link to all of this in the video description below as well. Go and give him a follow. He is doing amazing work. So he released this, uh, and it's 10 portraits uh, with a bunch of portraits that we can't actually see. Uh, yeah, these are new hero portraits that are actually in the game files because these guys have worked out how to decrypt the files. So take a look at this. This is insane. So these are character art with a little bit of a 3D model that's been pulled out of the game files and with some speculations to what these heroes could be because we know of certain hero names. So could this guy at the top be Rampart? Rampart sounds strong, doesn't it? Like, oh, I'm Rampart, like a big, big hero. I, I guess I'm kind of going like down a Reinhardt type of path here. Could be a new tanky style character. Very bulky looking guy. Got a big cigar. Quite like the look of that. Looks amazing. Could be Rampart. Then we get this image. Maybe this could be Rose. Again, like we don't actually know what these names, uh, you know, if these names are linked to the heroes, this could be totally different. Uh, the heroes, you could swap maybe a few of them around, but it's really cool to look at it. I mean, that could be Rose. What could Rose do? What could Rose's abilities be? We don't really know. The next one we've got coming up is Taltrum or Crypto. We're not really sure, again, of the name of this, but this, we believe, is the guy you guys seen in the earlier image I just shown of the Pathfinder announcement or, like, concept art. Or I think it's part of one of his... Um, if you go to the Pathfinder page on the Apex Legends website, you can actually see there is a bit of, like, concept art and Pathfinder sort of removing graffiti or cleaning windows, and he's kind of there. This could be him. I mean, it looks a little bit different, doesn't it? like based off the picture to the in-game render there, but we're not really sure. Again, all of this is, it, it is speculation, but what we've known or, or what we've seen so far is everything that's been data mined has been accurate. Like all of this stuff is in the game files and Respawn have clearly got a bit of an issue with keeping this stuff locked down. So everybody's finding all of this stuff out, which is good in one way because we get to see the new stuff, bad in another way because, well, I guess I am kind of spoiling stuff covering this, but you know, what can you do? It's pretty funky. All right, so next one we've got coming up is Octane. Now we know what Octane looks like we know octane is octane is confirmed even because we've got the official artwork of him which is available actually on the origin website so the images i showed you guys at the start of the video that is octane we know something called the wild frontier battle pass is coming out we know octane is the first legend we're going to get and he appears to be the marquee launch for the battle pass so he's probably going well he's the big thing to say hey come and check out the battle pass here's the new hero but also, we believe we're going to get new weapons. We're going to get uh, all kinds of bits and pieces and stuff like that. Um, and actually, I'm going to pause recording this video right now because we've just had a tweet from Apex Legends about data mining. Let's check this out. 
All right, this is the update we just got. So this is from Respawn, and they just put this on Reddit. So they say, so between the data mining and the unintentional update about Season 1 on Origin today, there's been a lot of speculation and confusion, so we wanted to give some clarity. We'll be providing details on Season 1 Battle Pass and the next Legend very soon. It's not coming out today. There's lots of stuff that has been data mined from Apex since launch and is swirling around the internet. We know this stuff is fun to dig up and speculate about, but you should not treat any of that info as a source of truth. There's there's stuff in there that is very old or things we've tried in the past and cut. Remember, our design process is to prototype and play lots of ideas. And some of it may be things we're still building for Apex Legends. Finding this stuff by no means um, uh, confirms that it'll ever come out. At best, you should treat any posts about this as rumor. And the real info will come from us when we're ready to show what's coming next. Thank you everyone for staying patient through this and hang tight. We're excited to get season one kicked off and having you grinding on the battle pass with a new legend to master soon. All right, okay, maybe damage limitation. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to looking at the leaked heroes. All right, cool. So we know about Octane. We know Octane's real. Uh, as I was saying about the leaks before I was rudely interrupted there by the update, um, it looks like most of the leaks we've seen so far are actually true. Um, the new weapons we've seen coming out, you know, we already knew the Havoc was coming out when it was an energy-based weapon. And we knew this days before, well, like, I guess a week before it launched. So this stuff, ah, I don't know whether we can just take it all with a pinch of salt. I think if it's there, it's there's probably a use for it, right? Probably, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm no game developer, so maybe, yeah, there are strings of, you know, bits of code left around, which is maybe not going to be used anymore. I think, like, the references to wall riding and things like that, uh, because remember, this is the Titanfall 2 engine, effectively, that they were using for Titanfall 3, that then turned into Apex Legends. So it makes sense. There'd be legacy code about wall riding and whatnot. Anyway, let's take a look at this guy. So this one is Nomad. Oh, we believe could be Nomad. Uh, yeah, I mean, he, uh, he looks like a Nomad in a way. You know, he looks like Lawrence of Arabia style, but he's got a skull, naturally, in his face or a mask that's a skull obviously he's got a skull uh because you know he's, he's got a head oh well, maybe it might not be a human i mean he could be a robot i mean that's the only thing i'm kind of disappointed here we don't really see any uh new pathfinder style robots i i want more robots so because i think a pathfinder is really cool uh, anyway could this be scunner Again, we don't really know. Like, this is just all speculation as to who these could be uh, by the leaker himself, which, I, you know, it makes sense. It's just as good as anybody else trying to come up with names. I think things like the Nomad, you know, it makes sense because it does look like a Nomad, so possibly that is a Nomad. Uh, Octane, we obviously know because, yeah, that's his name. Scunner, ah, could just, you know, could be anything. I mean, Scunner could be Jericho. Jericho could be Scunner. We just don't know. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at Jericho. So Jericho, I mean, I guess based off Scunner there, before she scrolls off the screen, it's like, it looks like a rifle, some sort of long-range weapon kit. I, I don't know. But I mean, that doesn't really make sense, does it? Because you pick the weapons up on the map. Who knows? Uh, Jericho looks kind of like a... I'm just going to say, it looks like a Junkrat. <laughs> it looks like a Scottish Junkrat uh, because he's ginger and he's got blue tattoo. On his arm, so clearly he's Scottish because Braveheart had blue paint on his face. Ladies and gentlemen, that's my logic for that. Uh, it looks like he's got a big backpack, kind of on both of those images. So maybe he's got some, he carries explosives around with him. Jericho, um, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, it, but again, that could be a different character, right? It might not be Jericho. We don't know. We're just going off that. The next one, though, we think this probably is Watson uh, because it's got an electrical bolt on its arm. Now, if this is true, Watson could possibly be the next hero launch after Octane because there was a lot of information leaked about Watson and like uh, the leaker showed us earlier on in the video, there are ability icons for this hero. So we know it's probably fairly close to coming out because there's these bits and pieces in the game files. Makes sense to have them, right? And remember, a lot of this stuff has only kind of recently shown up. Um, so again, it makes sense that if they're updating the game as time goes on, why would they update it with like legacy code? Again, not all of it might not be legacy code i don't know what is legacy and what isn't uh, we can just take it at face value and like i said it is fun to speculate on this stuff um so yeah that's probably watson because it's got a lightning bolt i mean it, that's as, as good as an association as i can think of so i, I kind of go with that and uh, then we've got some a couple of unknown ones uh hasaria profit are about to scroll up the screen which is like you know a, a lot of this stuff with all of the the leaks that i covered with overwatch back in the day um some of them would be accurate, some wouldn't.
But it was very rare that we, we had a ton of leaks that were actually data mined from the game. It used to happen very early on with Overwatch, but they changed the way the game files are distributed and, and the encryption methods and all that to make it practically impossible. Or rather, that if the encryption keys were ever found again, as soon as people started making videos on it or started... Um, you know, producing content on it, Blizzard would then update the encryption. So then you'd have to work it all out again. And it's it's too much of a hassle. So often, you know, well, I say often, maybe there's people out there that know how to get into the files and just kind of don't want to share it. But you'd see posts on 4chan, right? I remember we had the whole thing with May, if any of you guys are Overwatch players. I know a lot of you are that watch my videos, but we had the, the May cinematic leak uh, with Arissa, the anchor tank, remember? Um, which was pretty much bang on the money. Anyway, this leak is more kind of substantial because we're getting stuff out of the game file. So could this be Hasaria? Uh, maybe based off its helmet, yeah, and the other hero. So let's take a look at this just to finish the video off. This is from Frozen Fro on Twitter. Um, and what he's done is put together the hero portrait leaks with the hero selection screen. So it's possible that what we've got here is 10 new heroes. I think this evidence is, is honestly pretty solid, guys. What I want you to do in the comments below is let me know if you think this is legit. Let me know if you think it's real. Let me know if you're disappointed that there's no battle pass coming out today. Because I know I am. I was looking forward to that. Um, also, I don't know, go crazy and speculate on what the abilities could be for these heroes. Uh, and maybe on Octane. Like, I hope Octane... Well, we had the leak, didn't we, with Octane with the stim and all of that stuff in the South Hill. We'll have to wait and see whether that's true. But yeah. All right, guys. I've been Stylosa. This is Unit Lost. If you guys enjoyed the video, then remember, you can like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, which is at Stylosa, and also on Instagram, which is at Stylosa. And yeah, guys, I'll catch you lovely lot on the next one. Toodaloo.